Hello, welcome to my channel. If you saw my uh, Teal Mask playthrough, you may have heard me mention that I wanted to do a tier list of every single shiny Pokemon. But um, that's a lot. Those, That's too many Pokemon. So I'm going to start today with Gen 1. Uh, I have every single Gen 1 Pokemon here. Including the uh, forms, different forms, like uh, Gigantamax and uh, Mega Evolutions, as well as uh, regional variants. Uh, what I won't be doing is if a Pokemon has an evolution or a pre-evolution that comes in a different later generation, I'm not going to add it here. That's going to be in that generation's video. This is Gen 1, so most of the Pokemon here have multiple forms. And it's ridiculous. So this is probably going to be the lo the longest of all the videos of all of these videos. I'll be judging them by comparing them to their original regular forms. Re not original, regular forms. I won't be taking gender differences into account unless it's like very um, the difference is very drastic, which honestly none of the Gen One Pokemon really have that big of a difference between genders and also just to speed up i'll be talking about them in groups you know like evolution lines and other groups as for the tier itself s is for the best shinies uh, a is for okay shinies you know it's they're okay I, I guess you could say they're technically better than the original but not that great uh b is more for indifferent like you know, okay, it's a shiny. It's a different color, but nothing great. F is for terrible shinies, which there are a couple here. And G is specifically for green shinies. Because as you can see, there are a bunch of green. There's a lot of green here. And I really don't like it. So some of the green ones might go up here. Depending, but uh, most, mo most green ones are going to go down here. Also... I want to make this clear. This is the correct uh, tier, uh, shiny tier list. My methods have been scientifically proven to be absolutely 100% correct. But if you do disagree, you can let me know in the comments. Okay, so first we start with the uh, uh, Venusaur line or Bulbasaur line. They Bulbasaur looks pretty much the same, maybe a little bit lighter green. But uh, Venusaur and Ivysaur and Venusaur have yellow. The, the flower changes from red to yellow. And I do like that better. So I will be putting Ivysaur and every Venusaur form in the A tier. And I'm just going to put Bulbasaur in B. Because it's <laughs> just looks like Bulbasaur. A slightly lighter colored Bulbasaur. Now for everybody's favorite Pokemon, Char uh, Charizard. Charmeleon and Charmander are going in B tier too because it's just it's like orange or yellow versions. It's not terrible, but it's not that great. But of course, Charizard, regular Charizard is going into S tier. And the uh, Y, Mega Y is also going there. Now, I will be putting Mega X on F because I don't like that color. I, I don't know why they... I mean, I guess it was already black before which means this is a downgrade and as for the gigantamax i'm just gonna put it in b because whatever who cares the blastoise line really the most noticeable change is that their shell is a green uh squirtle is b because it doesn't really change it's, it's just a sh green shell it's a whatever but the others the others are okay. You know what? I'm gonna give me a second. I'm gonna make another row. Okay. B for uh, whatever. It's it's okay. It's different, but it's not fantastic. That's gonna be all the rest of the blaster sign. Now for Butterfree. You know I really like Metapod's color. I'm gonna put that one in A. Uh, I'm gonna put Caterpie in B. But honestly, I don't like 
Butterfree. I'm gonna put the Gigantamax form here too because it's the same thing. Now as for Beedrill, I'm gonna put we uh, Weedle in C because it it just it looks like Weedle. I don't, I don't really see any really any difference. It's I guess a little bit lighter, but here we have the first green. Uh, ones which are Kakuna and Beedrills. They're, they're just green. That's it. It's just a green color. Although I'm, I will put Kakuna up in B tier because I do like that shade of green on Kakuna specifically. So I'm going to put Kakuna in B. Now Pidgeot. Pidgeotto. Pidgey. Pidgey is a whatever. It's, it's a Pidgey. Pidgeotto can go in B because I do like the yellow feathers. And I will put Pidgeot in in uh, A tier because I fucking love, you know. I mean, I, I guess Pidgeot is also Pidgeotto is also has a, a golden feathers, but it's like the same color as Pidgey the other the rest of the body. But uh, Pidgeot has Pidgeot has a nicer coloring to the rest of its body, and the, the Mega has the purple feathers at the end, so I do like that. Now Ratata. The first Alolan regional variant. I do like Radicate's color. The regular Rad Cantonian Radicate. I do like its color. But uh, Ratata is going to green. Because of course it is. And the Alolan forms are noticeably worse than the regular forms. So I'm just going to put them in F. I just, I'm just going to make F tier the ones that look worse than the regular counterpart how about that that's let's just make it like that spiro and firo honestly i think this is kind of a green tint they are hideous so i'm gonna put them in green and ekans as well because that's the next one ekans but i'm gonna put arbok in f because it is in green but it, it is worse than the regular arbok now pikachu pikachu Everybody's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, is going to see because that's it's just a darker Pikachu. And I'm just going to put the the other one here, too, the Gigantamax <clears throat> there, too. But Raichu does get a bit of a glow up. It's not fantastic, but it, I'll put it in B. It's okay. Now, I hate, I absolutely hate the Alolan Raichu color. Colors, shiny. It's... I don't like that shade of brown. It's horrible. And here we have another green one with Sandstrew. Sandstrew also goes in green. But Sandslash goes into... I'm going to put it in S tier because it's awesome. That red... The spikes. Red spikes are awesome. I'm also going to put Alolan Sandstrew in S. Because it also looks very good. It's mostly just like a dark coloring to its body. But it's pretty much the 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 same. But a uh, uh, Alolan Sandstrew is gonna go into C because it's whatever. Okay, Nido King line or the Nidoran line because we have both the female and male Nidorans and their evolutions. The uh, Nido Queen goes to green, of course. I will put the Nidoran and Nidoran female and Nidorina in B because I do like the pink better than the blue. But that is reversed with Nidoran male and Nidorino. I like the pink more than the blue. So the, these two are F tier. Now, Nido King is pretty cool in blue. It's like a darker blue than Nidorino and uh, Nidoran. So I'm going to put it in B tier because I do like it. And I, I do have one that I have used before and I really like it. Now for Clefairy and Clefable. I could put them in green tier because the main difference is the green tips uh, in their um, ears. Ears? I guess they're ears. But uh, they're not completely green, but I still hate them. So I'm going to put them in F tier because they, these are some of the worst looking shinies I have ever seen. Th that green tip looks hideous. Now we go into one of the better shinies. Ninetales, regular Ninetales goes straight up to S tier because that white looks amazing. Now Vulpix, regular Vulpix, let's, I'm going to put in C tier. Actually, I'm going to put all 
the rest in C tier because they're not that you know that different to the uh, regular versions. Uh, Jigglypuff, just like uh, Clefairy, it's like a slightly different shade of uh, pink, but the eyes are green, and I don't know. It's I'm not gonna put them in F actually. I'm gonna put them in C because it's whatever. It's just green eyes. Now Zubat and Golbat, green tier. Why? Why so many greens? Also, they're, they're, I'm not putting them in any particular order in the uh, tier list. I'm pretty much putting them in, in order of um, Pokedex, which is how I'm taking them out here. So it's not good, like uh, better or worse inside one of the tiers. It's just, it's all the same. Um, the Gloom line, not Gloom, Oddish line, also green. It's all green. They just change from blue to green. And the flowers changed a little bit and the leaves, but it's mostly green, so whatever. Paris. Paris is just like a darker Paris. It's, it looks exactly the same, pretty much. Slightly darker. Uh, Parasect is F tier, though, because it does look worse than the regular Parasect. Now, Venonat. I'm going to put Venonat in C as well. It's The eyes are blue instead of uh, red, I think is the regular color. It's not that different, but it's okay, I guess. But uh, Venomoth will go into B because I do like that blue coloring it has. Diglett and Ductrio. Honestly, all of them go into F tier because I don't like... The regular ones pretty much only change the uh, blue nose, the nose color. But I don't like it, and the Alolan form... I don't, I don't like the Alolan forms to begin with, so just making them uglier is... F tier. Um, Meowth. Meowth is one of the ones that has the most versions of it. Regular Meowth. It looks a lot like regular Meowth. It just has pink. A pink tail and pink uh, paws. Uh, same with the Mega. No, not the Mega. The Gigantamax is just pink tail and pink paws. Now oh, Persian. Persian also. It's, it just looks like Persian. I just see Persian. I don't really see a difference. But... Here's a trend that has been showing up in more recent uh, Pokemon games with uh, uh, different regional variants where the shiny of a regional variant is the same color as the regular variant or the original uh, variant. And I do like that. I will put Meowth, um, Galarian Meowth in A and the others are just going into... I'm going to put them into F, honestly, because I don't like that blue. Now, Psyd Psyduck is a special case. I really like this blue color it has. I really, really like it. But I don't like that the uh, the bill and the feet are also like a lighter blue. I wish it were a, diff a completely different color. So I'm going to put them in B. Put it in B. As for Golduck, honestly, I'm... I'm going to put it in B2. I do like it, the red. And it is a slightly darker blue. And I like the red, uh, the beak and the webs. So I'll put it in whatever. Now, Mankey and Primeape. I think there could be an argument made for putting them in the green tier. I will put them in the green tier because that's pretty much the difference. They're slightly more green. Arcanine and Growlithe. Growlithe and Arcanine. Arcanine, regular, Cantonian Arcanine, S tier, golden color, beautiful. And Growlithe, it's not as golden, but it's still pretty good. I'm going to put it in A. Actually, no, I'm going to put it in A. And uh, the other, Hisui and Growlithe is also going A because I do like it. It's pretty much the same color. But... Hisuian Arcanine, I think, is going to go into F tier. I like the gold coloring for Arcanine and the others, but I don't like the black rocks. I, I like Growlithe's colors because it's, it has, like, white fur, but I don't like the black fur with uh, for, uh, the Hisuian Arcanine, so I'm going to put it in F. It looks better with, with uh, red, honestly. Now, the poly, uh, Poliwag line. I, honestly, Poliwag is just Poliwag. It's 
not really that different to regular poly uh, polywag. I'm gonna put Polyworld 2 and C because it's just a l slightly uh, lighter blue. But uh, Polywrath goes into green. Abra, Abra, Abra. Abra and Kadabra are C tier. They look pretty much exactly the same as regular. A little bit lighter, both of them. But Alakasam gets F because I don't like the pink. I like the I really like the brown colors, and I'm gonna put Mega like Sam there too because it's the same thing. Going from brown to pink is a John Gray for both of them. Now here we go with Machop. Uh, all of them go into green. Machop is the slightly less green one. I'm still gonna put it in green because it does have a little bit of a green tinge. All of them go into green. Hideous, ugly, ugly, ugly colors. I don't understand. Oh, and here's the um, the other one. The Gigantamax also goes into green. Now, Bellsprout. I do like Bellsprout. I'm going to put Bellsprout in A. I like the shiny colors for Bellsprout. It's just yellow. It takes away the green and it's mostly just yellow. But Weeping Bell is pretty much the same. And I think I will put Victory Bell in B because I do like it better than... A little bit better than the regular coloring. It's not that great. Tentacool and Tentacruel, honestly, F tier. I like the the original versions better. Gold, uh, Geodude. Geo, the entire Geodude line, I think, goes into F tier. This color is ugly as shit. Although Golem, regular Golem looks okay. I'm going to put, no, I'm going to put regular Golem in B. It does look pretty cool. It's not better than the regular, but it, it does look cool. Now, Ponyta. Honestly, Ponyta S tier. I do like the blue flames, but for some reason, Rapidash does not have the blue flames. And it has this ugly uh, purple color, which goes into F. If it had kept the blue flames, it would have been in S tier. The Galarian, Ponyta, and Rapidash are, I guess, B. They look different enough, but not, like, fantastic. Uh, Slowpoke. <sighs> Slowpoke and Slowbro. Slowpoke, regular Slowpoke is just like a slightly different shade of pink than regular Slowpoke, so C tier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Slowbro in B tier because it's whatever. But, oh, this one goes into F. The, uh, the Galarian Slowpoke goes into F. Definitely. Mega... Goes into B with the regular Slowbro. And also the other Slowbro. The um, Galarian Slowbro also goes into B. I do like that it, it the different colors in the, in the skin, I guess. But it, whatever. Now Magneton and Magnemite go way up. Up here into S tier. I absolutely love the black tips in the magnets and the... Um, what color is this? It's like bronze almost. It's not gray. Looks great. It looks great. I absolutely love the shiny Magnemite and Magneton. Farfetch'd. I think I'm going to put both in F. The... What's it called? The fucking fighting one. The other one. Galarian Farfetch'd is... It's almost absolutely no difference. Between uh, that Farfetch and the other Farfetch. Uh, Doduo and Dodrio. Green. Green tier. Oh, look at that. Seal and Dugong. Do you remember these two Pokemon? Yeah, they exist. They exist and they go into F tier because they are ugly. Grimer. Okay. I could put Grimer and Muck into the green tier. But. And this, you know, if, if they didn't exist, I might have put them differently. But I do like that the Alolan, uh, the Alolan regional variants and the uh, Cantonian variants have swapped colors in their shiny forms. I like that a lot, so I'm gonna put all of them into A. It's a really nice touch. If if they do s stuff like that, which we'll see later, they have they do quite a lot. It's very nice. It's very cool. I do like it a lot. 
Okay, Shelter. Shelter is hideous. I hate that orange color. It's disgusting. But Cl uh, Cloyster does go into A tier. I do like the blue. Okay, Ghastly. Gengar. First of all, Gengar F tier. Because why? It's literally just Gengar. It's like slightly less saturated. Is it less saturated or more saturated? I, I honestly don't know about color saturation. But slightly different shade of purple for Gengar. It's terrible. Also, I'm going to go ahead and put Hunter there too because it's the same thing except its mouth is blue instead of red. Ghastly. Ghastly, I'm going to put Ghastly in C because it's whatever. The Mega and the Gigantamax do change colors in, uh, to white. Honestly, quite, I guess, a little bit controversial. I don't like it. I don't like the white. Onyx, hideous, a green tier, actually. It does go into green tier. That's, like, kind of a green. Drowsy and Hypno, F tier. I hate them in their re regular colors, and I hate them even more in the shiny colors. Krabby and Kingler, green tier. Voltorb and Electrode. I really like the blue one. It's like a great ball instead of a Pokeball. So I'm going to put both of them in a tier and i'm actually gonna i'm gonna actually put uh the others also in a tier because i really like the black the black colors execute and executor honestly uh, f tier for all of them i don't like them they are ugly actually actually i'm gonna put them in c, uh, c tier they're not terrible uh, not execute. Execute stays enough, but executor can go into C tier because I do like the brown uh, leaves. Cubone, uh, green, and Marowak also goes into green, but the other one goes into C. Alolan and Marowak goes into C. I actually it's gonna go into F because I do like the black. I think it's black. The regular one, the black coloring looks better. Hitmonlee, green. Hitmonchan, green. Leaky Tongue, F. Because it's hideous. Now these are a couple of S tiers if I've ever seen one. Coughing and wheezing look fantastic. I absolutely love that blue and the purple. The purple smoke is great. But the uh, Galarian one goes. Let's go put it into C tier because it's whatever. Rhydon and Rhyhorn. Honestly. F tiers. The gray looks great. For the regular form. And these are ugly. Although, actually, I'm going to put Rhydon in C, because Rhydon isn't as bad. Chansey, another ter I'm going to put it in green tier. It it does have a, a slightly more green than Clefairy and Clefable, but it is... I'm going to put it in green tier, because it's ugly. Also, green tier for Tangela. Kangaskhan, it's the same exact same color in the shiny form uh, for both of them. Like, um, the Mega and the, uh, and the regular form. And they don't, it does, she, she doesn't look that different from its, uh, the regular form. So I'm going to put regular Kangaskhan into F. No, not into F, into C, I guess. But I will put B, the Mega into B, because even though it is the same color as the, uh, the other Kangaskhan, the, we can see the baby more clearly. And it does have a special unique coloring, which is quite nice. I do like the pink. Horsey, F, I hate that, but, but I will put Seeking into B because I do like that. It looks kind of like Golduck, the blue and the red looks nice. Goldeen, I do like, really like Goldeen. I'm going to put it in A. I do like the orange, the more orange color, but I'm going to put Seeking into just C. Now, Star You and Star Me, honestly, F tier, both of them. They're both ugly. Mr. Mime, green tier. And the other Mr. Mime F tier, just because it's ugly. <laughs> Scyther, Scyther, Scyther. I can't put it into green tier because technically what they change is the uh, little red parts in between the legs and the arms. So it doesn't count as green tier. It's already green. But I will put it into F tier because it just looks uglier than the regular Scyther. Jinx F tier because it's ugly all around. Electabuzz. F tier because that orange is hideous. I'm gonna put Magmar in C. I do like the colors, the pink, but I I still like 
uh, regular magma are better. Pinsir. Pinsir. I'm going to put Pinsir and C, both of them, because I really like that blue color it has. It's very nice. Tauros goes into the green tier. Why? Okay. Paldean and Tauros, all three of them, are going to go into A tier. Because even though they don't seem like they look that different from regular uh, Paldean and Tauros, it, it actually switches the fur around the neck, the mane, I guess, and the body and head are switched. Usually the mane is the darker black and the rest is like gray. But they switched and I do like that. I, I like it when they switch the colors they they keep the same colors by this but they switch it i really like that so i'm gonna put them in a golden magic card the golden magic card goes into a but the um gyarados i have to put it in s tier right it's gyarados that's the shiny pokemon i'm gonna put both of them both the regular gyarados and mega gyarados the shiny pokemon that's the one shiny pokemon that every that everybody has which makes it less valuable but it is iconic and I really like the red color. So I'm going to put Gyarados into S tier. Lapras. Lapras. Purple Lapras. You know what I just realized? I, you can also make a tier list. Another tier for purple. Like green. A bunch of Pokemon have a purple color. Okay, I'm going to put purple here. Purple. There's a bunch of purple ones. I'm going to have to change a bunch of them now. I'm going to put Slowbro down into purple i'm gonna put nidoran into purple because technically they are purple i'm gonna make it purple and pink actually purple and pink let's go with hypno as well yeah just a purple tier there there's also a purple and pink tier so light green if if the color is okay i'm gonna put it higher but yeah ditto 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 honestly c tier it's, uh, it's okay. It's just blue. But Eevee, I will put Eevee into A tier. I do like the white Eevee. I'm going to put the, the Gigantamax form there too. Vaporeon goes into pink, purple, pink tier, purple tier. Uh, Jolteon goes into G, uh, green tier. And Flareon goes into, I guess, C tier. It's not that fantastic it's whatever porygon i don't like it f tier f tier it, it looks better the regular color looks better uh almanite and alma star pink tier purple tier whatever you want to call it the p tier uh green oh look at that the fossils go into the lower two things because um aerodactyl also goes into purple tier snorlax c tier it's whatever it's more blue who cares Let's put the other Snorlax here too. Now here we get into the really, really good ones. Okay, Articuno, the legendary birds. Articuno, F tier. It's uh, just slighter, slightly lighter blue, and it looks worse than the regular one. And also Sabdos, also F tier. It looks like slightly darker. Whatever, who cares? But Moltres, regular uh, Cantonian Moltres, will go into S tier. I really, really, really like that pink color it has. It looks really cool. And here we go with what I said before. All three Galarian form go into S tier because the, the shiny forms are literally the exact same colors as the Cantonian forms. And I really, really like that. So S tier. For all three um, Galarian forms. Now I could put Dragon um, Dragoner and Dratini into the pink tier. Actually, I'm gonna put Dratini into the pink tier because I don't like that particular pink. But Dragoner goes into S tier. I I love Dragoner as a pink dragon, and I actually you know what I'm gonna put Dratini up here too. I like them both as pink, but then they why why make Dragonite green? It's horrible. It goes into green tier. I hate it. And I, you know what? Mewtwo also goes into green tier. I don't like... Actually, the Y looks really cool. I'm going to put the Y in A. The Y. 
Mega Y and A because it does look pretty cool. It's green, but it looks better. Better than the other two, actually. And Mew, 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 Blue Mew, it goes into C tier with Ditto. Because, whatever, it's blue. Yes, okay, I think this is definitely, definitely the correct way to tier the Gen 1 Shinies. Here you go. That's all of them. And I hope you agree because if you don't you are wrong all right so that's gonna be it for this video subscribe for the next one because gen 2 is coming i don't know when maybe in a week we'll see but uh yeah hope you enjoyed see you next time